if you were sitting down with Joey Carberry over a cup of tea and he said, what do you think I should do? Well, I, I think that I'm reminded of those uh, top class older quarterbacks in, the, in, in, in American football when they're negotiating their recontract. They're more concerned with what's in front of them than the actual uh, pounds and pennies on their contract. In other words, do they have the forwards in front of them? that will make life somewhat easy for them to allow them to perform. And I think the first thing, if I was Joey Carberry, would be saying, hang on, if you want me to go up there, do you want me to go up to that rubbish? Because I'm not going to get anything out of it. The, 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 the standard and the culture for week on week isn't good enough. We see that. Mm. Uh, and if, if I've learned anything from the semifinals, um, the difference about a, a ball that's going forward to halfbacks. And you look at how Conor Murray struggled in the environment against Racing because he was, for all the yardage and all the carries Munster were, were doing, he wasn't getting any go forward and Ian Keighley wasn't getting any go forward. And look at the halfbacks for Leinster. So that would be my primary concern. It could work out that Joey Carby could go up there and play lots of games, but actually come back a worse player. And I, I remember when, um, when Eric Miller came back from the Lions. He was in Leicester at the time and he went to Ulster. And all of a sudden, Ulster had won the, the Heineken Cup in 99. Uh, Miller came back, I think, around 2000 or thereabouts um, and just kind of fell away in the Irish context because Ulster had fallen away. He came da back down to Leinster um, after a season or so, I can't remember exactly, and played and he was phenomenal again. Mm. It is of crucial importance when you are in the Irish limelight that you're playing, your, your province you're playing with is actually functioning in the way that Leinster are. And I, I think they're the standard bearers of Europe, obviously, for many, many reasons. But that would be my concern. If I was Carberry and I was talking to Joe Smith, I'd be saying, hang on a second here, I'll go, but you've got to make sure that I'm going to isn't, um, isn't, isn't a bunch of Keystone cops. That That's the case has been the uh, phrase of the week you may have seen. Yeah, and I think I think that'd be a reasonable attitude. I think yeah. he has to be selfish, just like a quarterback in, in in American football. If you want me to join your franchise, you're going to have to invest some serious money in making it a proper franchise worthy of my place. He and I think that he doesn't even know whose coach is going to be. I was at Leinster's awards last night, and they were doing their farewells to the departing players. And Jordy Murphy was up on the stage, being interviewed with Darren Maloney. And the one question Dara didn't ask was, are you looking forward to going up to Ulster next season? And, and I say Jordy's pretty glad he didn't. And I, like, I would say a lot of people would have reacted by kind of almost laughing because that they have become, maybe not a lot, it's been too serious to be a laughing stock, but yeah. I think Brian Odrisco is on the money. What do you look at when you want to join a new club? Right, there's the money side. I'm sure the RFU would sort that out. Who's the coach? Yeah. Don't know. Who's going to be, you know, what's, what, what's my pack like? Well, it hasn't been great this season. Am I going to be in the Champions Cup? Don't know. Like, Joey Carby and Ross Byrne are ambitious. They're in the best environment in Europe right now. The guy ahead of them is, is 32. He's the best in Europe, but he, he does tend to either be rested or get injured at times. And they both think they're better than each other, I'm sure. They both think they could probably be better than Johnny Sexton in the long run because these players are full of, yeah. full of belief. And they're going, well, why would I move up there? Yeah. And I mean, there's no guarantee that you go up there, become a better player and come back. Because when you go up there, you give the jersey to the other guy. Yeah. And you ultimately want to be Leinster's number 10. So, you know, they might be thinking, I'd go up there for two or three years and come back. But no, you're giving Ross Byrne the keys to the castle mm. if you're Joey Carberry and vice versa. So, the players have a big choice. And I think if I was Joey Carberry and I was having that conversation, I'd be Joey, Joey would be going, well, what about Munster? Because the pack is there, the qualifications there, the young coaching ticket, very highly rated. And the, the, key, to the, ca or sorry, the, 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 the key to unlock Munster to, to the next level, I think, is the top caller in the International 10. Mm. And I think certainly Carberry has that in his locker. And if you can put away aside the rivalry, which Andrew Conway and others have done, Ty Byrne is going there next season, yeah. that'd be the way I'd be going. Mm -hmm.